the playlist. Where my sepetu a partner skillies and go matanos are the playlist. Na Omari Tamboy. <laughs> Tamboy! What's up, Tanzania? This is your main man, Banky W, a.k.a. Mr. Capable, a.k.a. Mr. Yes, No, and the chairman of EME, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria, and I am hanging out with Lil Omi, the Lil Last Born. Your mom, your dad, your sister loves him. My mom, my dad, my sister loves him. Keep it locked, don't go nowhere. Lil Omi, take it away, boy, let's do it. This is your boy, Dare, on the playlist with Lil Omi, the Stars Request Show. It's your boy Westkid, and I'm chilling right here with Lil Omi on Times 100.5 FM. That's right boys and girls that is and gentlemen back again kwenye show la kibabu the playlist na leo nimekwambia nitakuwa na wanadada watatu wanaunda kundi la Shikane wanatokea Nigeria na wako Tanzania kwa ajili ya media tour ngoma yao ya Oga Police imekuwa inafanya sawa sana imekuwa lead sana imekuwa ya moto sana so yes niko joined nao hapa kuna time flani hivi nishawahi kufanya nao interview kwa njia ya simu lakini leo niko nao live yeah How are you guys? We're good. We're good. Thank you. Welcome to Times FM. Welcome to Tanzania. Asante. Asante. Oh yeah. You finally uh, speak Swahili, yeah? Uh, no. Very tiny. We're learning. We're learning. Oh yeah. Like what you guys um know like uh what are the few words? Okay, um karibu. Mhm. Karibu um asante sana. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Um bora. Is it bora? Or bora? Bora. Power. Boda. 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 It's Boda, right? Poa, Poa. Right, I got it right. Boda. You mean Poa. But I said Boda as well. No, no, it's Poa. No, Boda. Who said Poa? Uh, who said Boda? Boda. I remember that. What? Trophy Boda. Chunvi Boda. Oh, Chunvi Boda. Yeah. Safi. Boda means better. Yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safi. Safi means like clean, Safi something sana. clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safi Mambo, sana. Mambo like cool. VP. Like pretty good. Yeah, Mambo VP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like pretty good and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways, is this your first time in Tanzania? Yeah. Mm-hmm. First oh, yeah. time in East Africa. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you guys find it? It's been amazing so far. And do you know what we want to make you feel Closer at home? to the microphone, please. It's been amazing so far. It's been great. Mm-hmm. And we want to make you feel at home. So mm-hmm. we're, we're going to put our shades on as well. We're going to put our shades on as well yeah. to join you. You can't be the only one. You yeah. can't be the only cool one. We're, we're, we're joining you. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Now um, we're ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, how did you find the weather? Is it as hot as in Nigeria? The same. It's about the same. Yeah. Is it it's the about, same? But yeah. here you you have um because you're closer to the water, so you have more breeze. Mm. So We're closer to the water. Kind of. I don't know. The, well, the, the ocean. You mean? That we've been. Yeah. Yeah. It's you're closer to the ocean, water, yeah. so oh, yeah. it's, it's nice. It's fresh. Yeah. Mm, but so as you're hot. going to the Victoria Island, there's a. Uh, Something like a an ocean or something. We Is have, it an we island? Have like a, we have like a river, uh, like over the third mainland bridge. Mm-hmm. But there, it's still s- super hot. Yeah. Super hot at super there. Hot, yeah. But but we have AC everywhere. I, so yeah. It's oh, fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Recently, I was there. Like man, it was crazy. Wait, were you hot? Did yeah, you find it? Yeah, 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 very hot, very hot. It's different to here, right? It's a different, yeah, kind, different of kind of heat. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. But anyways, um, do you guys love the food? So far, yeah. we've only had English food. Yeah. Oh. We haven't actually had tan- 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 Tanzanian food. Like you guys say, these people should. We say Tanzania. Mm-hmm. You say Tanzania. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So it's different. These people should show you around then. Yeah. yeah. What, what What should we have? Nyama choma. I want to have that. I had that in London. Nyama choma, chips zege, chips Ooh. yai, uh? ugali, wali. Okay. okay. Ugali. What do we have ugali with? Because I had it in London. I didn't like it. So what did I have it? What What should I have it with to make it nice? Ugali is like fufu in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it tastes yeah. different yeah. though. Yeah, well, it's it different. different. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's different. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, as far as I know, like, uh, as I said before, again, this is your first time in Tanzania. Yeah. And Oga Police has been such a a major record out here. Mm-hmm. It's been it's been massive. Mm. Like one of my friend went to the club, then he had the DJ playing the record, and then he had like here, like when we were playing the record, and it was like I heard this record at the club. Mm-hmm. So then Oga Police is doing very good. Is it the reason that you guys are here in Tanzania? It's part of the reason. I mean, we've wanted to come for quite a while, but we wanted a reason to come. And the song's doing really well, so we wanted to come and meet our fans. Mm -hmm. We keep on getting DMs and messages, when are you coming, when are you coming? And we just thought there's no time like the present. So, yeah, and it's good to go where you're loved as well. There's no point. It's better to go where you're appreciated, not where you're tolerated. That's what we always tell ourselves. So, yeah. yeah. And apart from those reasons, um, is there any other major reason 
like to choose Tanzania as being one of the first East African uh, East African country like to pay a visit. Yeah, people like you. Yeah. People, people, well, like you, 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 you come to see me, you, right? Right? You, we, you know, you've supported. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, at support- first, at first, we did the telephonic interview. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, you we the talked about a few stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've supported us, and also we wanted to collaborate with Tanzanian artists as mm-hmm. well. So that's another reason why we chose Tanzania first. Like, who are they? Like, do you know the names yet? Oh, Vanessa, God, Vanessa MD, oh, yeah. um, Ali, Ali Kiba. Um, Diamond. Oh, yeah. um, we actually have recorded a song with um, Chimbi. Chimbi. At one end of studios. Yeah. Yes. I know that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so a few more. I can't remember the list is long, but we, we have we have a few collaborations that we're doing before we leave. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Have you guys talked to any of those artists apart from Chin Bees? Yes. Yes, oh, yeah? we have. We have. Our PR has spoken to And have. how is it like? What was the response like? It's good. It's good. It's, yeah. it's good. It's just about getting, making sure that our schedules mm. um, align. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ev- everyone's excited about it. So because I know you guys met Diamond in in UK, like mm. when he was performing. Yeah. Well, we brought him over. Yeah, you guys brought him over. Yeah, yeah for his yeah. first his first, first European show. show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was way back. That was this like, was like two, five years. Yeah, yeah. 2011, 2012. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And who else did you guys um, bring over? Um, it was Ali Kiba and Professor J. Oh, so they shared the they same shared the stage bill. together. Yeah, so Ali yeah. Kiba Diamond were on the same stage. Yeah, but I would say Ali Winner Kiba was the bigger star. He was like the bigger. He was Ali Kiba and at the time Ali Kiba and Professor J were, I guess they were the headliners mm-hmm. and then Diamond was there as well. Oh, at that time? At that time. Oh, yeah. And then since then you kept the conversation going or something? Do you know what? We haven't really spoke, kept in contact with... The only one out of the three that I've kept in contact with is Professor Jay. Mm-hmm. We're very close with him. He's always been very supportive and he's, he's a lovely guy. Oh, yeah. Um, but Diamond, we see him on the circuit. So we saw him like two years ago at, at Mamas in South Africa. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Um, so we do see him, but it's not, you know, we're not, we're not close. Mm-hmm. And I think initially when he saw us, he didn't even, he didn't even know who we were. Mm. So he I had didn't to even remind remember. him. He didn't remember. He no. didn't remember. Mm-hmm. I, had to, I had to be like, you know we brought you to London oh, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he's cool though so he's the cool. plans for the collaboration are, um, are going on very well yeah they're going well yeah I mean oh, we yeah. hope at least if we can get Vanessa that, that would that would be perfect for us if we can just get you know we want to Vanessa do... on the record yeah if we can get and Vanessa I... that would be great oh yeah I saw you guys posted um, Vanessa's album on your Instagram yeah. account yeah. like the Money Mondays yeah. and then you said track number 7 and track um, the one that she did with Mahombi oh, are yeah. your favourite yeah? yeah sweet the song is so sweet yeah, yeah, love yeah. that song I absolutely love we that we love song. Vanessa we're huge Vanessa fans oh yeah we love, we love her fashion, mm-hmm. we love her music, we love everything about Vanessa. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So guys, acha kwanza ni break it down then niendele na Shiken. Nimeanza na kupiga story kwanza anasema ndo mara yao ya kwanza kuja Tanzania. Guys, I need to translate this one then I'll get back to you, yeah. Okay. Ndo mara yao ya kwanza kuja Tanzania and uh wameichagua Tanzania ndo kwa nchi ya kwanza kufanya media tour kwa sababu nyie mlikuwa mnawatumia DM message wanaona message kwenye DM lakini pia ngoma yao ga police imekuwa nafanya vizuri na nini wakaona waichague Tanzania kwa nchi ya kwanza kuja kufanya media tour na plan zao ni kufanya ngoma na Alkiba um, Vanessa Mde sana sana Vanessa Mde na Diamond Platnumz na waliwahi kumchukua Diamond wao ndo aliandaa show London na wakamchukua Diamond na Alikiba kwenye same stage kwenye jukwaa moja na Professor J time hiyo. Alafu hapo katikati wakaendelea na mishemishi zao kwa sababu Shikeni pia wamekuepo um, UK, wamekuepo US, Marekani na pia Nigeria lakini wao wanatokea Nigeria. So plan yao hasa sasa hivi ni kufanya ngoma na Vanessa na tayari wameshafanya ngoma na Chin Biz kutoka um, Wanene Studios. Yeah. So nadhani nime breakdown vizuri. So yes, um Shikeni is your name a combination of your names? Yes, yes, yes. it is. That, it's it's yeah. as simple it's as that. Simple, yeah, oh, yeah? It really is yeah. that simple. <laughs> so, like, who is she, Kane? Yet, um, so, can you guys break Shea, it down? So yeah, Shay Kane. And you guys are twins then? Yeah, so yeah, we're twins. twins. Mm-hmm. She's our younger sister. Yeah. Oh, younger sister. Yeah. yeah. But you, you're all related. Yeah, we're, yeah, all we're sisters. sisters. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. <laughs> and do you guys fight sometimes, argue a little bit? Sure. Yeah. Definitely. It happens. <laughs> Mainly with her. Oh yeah? Because she's no. She, yes, no. You know she what? her name well, is Princess. Oh yeah. And and it's actually Princess Anime <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's true to form. She's true to her name. Mm-hmm. She so a she's a diva. Oh yeah. And sometimes we I mean we all get on each other's nerves, mm-hmm. but I think she gets on our nerves the, the most. most. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. And you That's true. And you guys are staying together, yeah? All the time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always. And you're not married. 
Not yet. Not yet. Single, we're looking we're single, single and single and single looking guys. Ready to looking mingle. Husbands. Single and looking guys. Woo! Hit our DMs, babies. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh yeah. Since you guys are coming from Nigeria, since you guys are coming from Nigeria, like who are the most popular artists out there um, from Tanzania? Like who? are doing good in Nigeria from Tanzania? Everybody asks this question, right? And it, the question, the answer is... The same people that have big hair. Unfortunately, it's very <laughs> predictable. It's Diamond yeah. and Diamond, and that's it, really. No, Diamond he's, and he's, Vanessa as well. Vanessa, oh, Vanessa, yeah. Vanessa, 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 Vanessa's big. So here? But Di- people actually know Diamond's music. Oh, yeah? Out there? Yes. And then Vanessa, you Vanessa, mentioned... Vanessa, I would say she's more of a celebrity. Like, people know her as a celebrity, but I wouldn't say they're... I, I would say they're familiar with the collaborations that mm-hmm. she's done, mm-hmm. but people actually know Diamond and they know his music. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, th- I think Diamond's popularity is a little bit different. Oh, well, yeah. well, he's more popular, but in, but everybody knows who Vanessa is. Everybody knows who Diamond is. Everybody knows who Ali Kiba is. Those are the three, you know, big Maybe Tanzanian it's artists it's in, in Nigeria. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yes, again, naendelete na kuwapa nini ambacho likuwa na zungumza ni mauliza kusiana na wao uh, wasani gani ambao kule Nigeria wanashinda sana, wanafanya poa sana, wamesema Diamond, uh, watu wanafahamu zaidi mziki wake, Vanessa wanafahamu zaidi kama Vanessa, kama mtu kama Brand, lakini mziki wake unaanza kupenya na wengi pia wanafahamu zile kolabu ambazo ya nazifanya, again, bado natamani sana kufanya nae um, kolabu Vanessa na walipost pia taile cover ya album yake ya Money Mondays and stuff like that, yeah? So then again, um, apart from the artists that you guys would like to collaborate with here in uh, Tanzania, I then I heard I heard that you guys w- would love to do a collabo with a Kenyan group, Saudi Soul, oh, yeah. and then uh, Mudoni, the drama queen. Like, how is it going on? They're our friends. Like, we're, they're actually really, really good friends of ours. Yeah. Do you know um, what the interesting thing? Um, Chimzy was the person that recommended our PR to us and Yiko PR to us. So, um, you know, they were... They've been really helpful with us and guiding us around East Africa and mm-hmm. advising us. So, you know, we're really grateful to them. Oh, but yeah. yeah, we're planning to work with them um, pretty, soon, soon. pretty soon. Yeah. Anytime soon, yeah? Yeah. But then yeah. the first time when I, uh, I did an interview with you guys over a telephone, thanks for the internet, it made everything possible. You mm-hmm. promised me that before end of the May, you'll, uh, you'll drop an album. I know. Yeah, yeah. Like okay, what happened? So- so we have to push it back to um, end of July mm-hmm. because we have a couple more projects that we're dropping before the album. So we have, um, well, actually, we have a single with, with Chin Bees dropping on Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, that's dropping this Friday. Mm-hmm. And then we have um, a collaboration album with um, a South African DJ mm-hmm. dropping. So mm-hmm. that's an EP that's dropping in oh, yeah. next month. And then the album will drop after that. So mm-hmm. we just have a few projects that we want to drop before the album just so people can kind of get to know us a bit more and anticipate the album. Oh, yeah. And is it um, the title for the album is still the same? The producers and the artists who were to be featured before? Our album title has... has we, we knew our, our album title. We've known our album title for six years. Mm. Oh, yeah. We, we said, always known. We've yeah, always known. started making it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, heard, we heard a sermon at church mm-hmm. and the pastor was talking about time and the importance of time. Mm-hmm. And he said the phrase... Every second is like a diamond. Mm-hmm. So we said we're going to name our um, album 60, 60 Diamond, diamond seconds. seconds. And we've so always we've, known that. We've always known. We've always known. Because we've always known that time is, so is important. important. Oh, yeah. So yeah. regardless of the situation, we've always known that that's going to be the album title. I like that. So is he the first person that we've told the album? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have an exclusive. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you're yeah. the first person that we've told. That's close, Archie. You're talking to the MVP, Archie. Hey! You already know, hey? <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then I heard that Victoria Kimani would uh, will be on the album, something like that. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. definitely going to be on the album. She, and we've actually done a song with her before, but she's going to be on the album. We love her as well. Um, she's a lovely girl, and she's really hardworking as well. So yeah, we definitely want to do a song with her. Oh yeah, I like that. Pretty cool. I love the title as well. You like yeah. that? You? I love the title, man. Oh, Can't okay. wait. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, ni kwa na uliza again kusena na wao walituahidi kwamba watatoa album kabla ya mwezi wa tano kuisha wameisogeza mbele kidogo lakini kutakuwa kuna ngoma zingine ambazo wamefanya ngoma ambayo wamefanya na Chinbizi na Dondoka Ijumaa na mikono tena mingine Victoria Kimani kufanya naye kazi wana plan naye Nairobi Kenya Sauti Soul pamoja na Mudhoni the Drama Queen dada ambaye na uwezo mkali sana wa kucheza zile mangoma na ndio maana kaitwa pia Mudhoni Mudhoni ndio jina lake the Drama Queen zilikuja kwa sababu ile drama ilikuja kwa sababu ya ya ngoma. Queen akapata hiyo crown kwamba ni mbaya sana kwenye hizo ngoma so wanatamani wapige naye vidude and stuff like that. So hawa ni Shikane ni wanadada wote ni wanatoka familia moja like wao ni ndugu lakini wawili ni mapacha, moja ndo uh, mdogo wao wa mwisho. Sijua, yeah, niseme hivyo. 
Alafu pia sometimes wanagombana gombana na nini hata kama ni ndugu anazingwana lakini mapacha ndio wamesema sana sana. Sana 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 mapacha. So yes, I'll be back na Shikane all the way from Nigeria. I'm to run in this one mini the MVP half men of amazing lil omi. As far as I know like uh, you guys are the CEO of your own record label. Yeah. Yeah, Mama A record, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um can you guys sign other artists? Yeah, we do want to sign other artists. Oh, yeah? We do, but I think um we just want to make sure that the timing's right and also I think artists in general I don't think understands what go in, what goes into a label and um their own obligations to the label like a lot of the times a, a artist will get successful and then they will forget what the label has done for them and they don't understand that it's a business like all the na- all the money that the label has spent you they have to recoup their money like that's only fair but i think artists don't really see it that way um so i think we just need to make sure that we pick the right artist we would like it to be a female because we want to empower other fem- females but you know if it's a guy then so be it but we would prefer it to be a female oh yeah yeah a female. Yeah, we prefer it to be a female because we know how hard it's been for us. Mm-hmm. Nobody's wanted to help us because we're women. And that was so, the reason like you guys started your own record label. Yeah, yeah. that's the reason. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's really yeah. the reason, yeah. <laughs> Why do you think that um people didn't want I don't know. Like um, it's an issue, yeah. Give the honest answer. Okay, so it's not that they don't want to help you, it's that they want to help you but for a price. Mhm. Like a lot of the time they want you to for pay a price. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So you know, so, so I get it. Exactly. So if you want to, you know, uh keep your dignity, then mm. the best thing to do is do it yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, until you get to a level where people respect you and you don't have to bargain with other things. Oh yeah. I like the initiative <laughs> that you guys um like like having your own rebel and stuff like that. I like that. Thank you. That's Thank a very you. good initiative. Yeah. It's um been hard though. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys want to do with this um music industry? Like what is the major role that you guys want to play in this music industry? We want to change the perception. We want we want artists male and female but, but particularly women to know that it is possible to do it independently. It is possible but it's but also to be honest about it and let them know that it is very difficult because up until recently we've all worked like we actually work our own, like jobs to fund our business. Everybody thinks that we have a rich uncle somewhere that's giving us all this money and mm-hmm. it's not the case. We're actually working so we have like if you think about it some of us that like, sometimes we have like three jobs in a day because we're management, we're a label, where we work a nine to five like we're lawyers, she's a, um, a project manager, you know, and then on top of that we have to be she came we have to be artists. Mm-hmm. So that's the hustle and I think most people think that they their talent alone is going to get somebody some don jazz is going to see them and say hey you let's sign you and just pump all this money into them and they're just going to sit down and just become famous and it doesn't work like that so i just think it, we just want to educate people especially women to know that when you're signing a contract just be careful what is you're signing and if it's money let it be money if it's if you're dating your manager let date your manager like keep the lines clear don't mix the business and the pleasure because when you guys fight your project is going to stop oh yeah and people need to be aware of that like oh, yeah. that's it your project stops i like that <laughs> can't wait to hear can't wait to hear your album thinks there's a lot of um oh yeah women inspirations out there i don't oh, know yes. yeah definitely. oh yeah um let's talk about uh she can touch this back in 2009 like you guys started Ooh. way way back yeah, we this did. was the first mixtape that you guys did in yeah. Atlanta yeah yeah yeah, 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 we yeah we in Atlanta, Atlanta yeah it in was Atlanta. basically a, um, a mixture because so all of us as individuals we have like different tastes in music mm-hmm. like we like R&B we like rock we like hip hop there's dancehall like, okay, dance dance everything. everything so mm-hmm. basically we wanted to do a kind of mixtape where we it's Mix almost like a homage to uh, the artists that we like. Mm-hmm. So we'd use the music, the yeah. you know, the production of their yeah. song and mm-hmm. then we would rewrite the original lyrics. Songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So oh, yeah. it was basically that and we kind of that was a, a fun mm, a we fun did Jay Z, we did Kanye. Yeah. Oh you guys met Jay Z, you met Kanye. Oh no. I, I wish. wish. Okay, we've we've met TI though. We've oh, met yeah. T. Oh, met T. Yeah. yeah. We were we were actually about to get signed to TI's record label Grand Hustle. Mm-hmm. That was quite interesting. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, no, no, we we, we admire Jay Z and we admire Kanye, so we covered we mixed their songs on that on that album. Oh yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I like that. So then um how hard was it um to pursue a music career in in the state? Was it hard for you guys? Was it easy? 
you know what? I think we were so naive. Like, we literally <laughs> said, Mum, we're just packing up. We're, we're going to America. And she was like, what? So we literally just, we rented an apartment in, um, where, where was it? Dunwoody. 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 Yeah, yeah Peachtree, Peach Tree. Dunwoody. I remember the street. Peachtree on that. And it's literally, like, living in central London like mm. in the richest part of Atlanta like we so had, dumb we had like, no clue we had no clue like our money was finished in like four weeks yeah. like <laughs> and we didn't have a bed we were sleeping on the floor oh, yeah. then our uncle bought us like these air, these mattresses. air mattresses so we're sleeping on it. oh seriously it was hell however mm-hmm. we did a lot of gigs we yeah. met a lot of people and we learned the industry and I think it was a good lesson it taught us because we met Waka Flucker's mum oh, yeah. and, and we met a couple of other A&Rs as well and they wanted to change our name they wanted to change our sound they just didn't want us to be African Mm-hmm. So it's like it, we just felt like we didn't fit in anywhere. We didn't fit in in the states. We didn't fit in the UK. Let's go to Africa. That's just mm-hmm. that's really how it happened. Let's go back home. Yeah, yeah. they wanted to change yeah. us. They wanted us to change us to Destiny Child. They and had the, these horrible girl oh, yeah. group names yeah. that they went to call. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it was oh, a good yeah. lesson. And was it uh, in the UK as well? Because I know uh, back in 2011, you again, uh, you guys released the second mixtape mm. that I'm um, Paradise on, uh, on Star- 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 Yeah, Star- yeah, yeah. 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 So, was it the same in the UK? So, so, so that, one, yeah, that one was a bit different. That one, um, at the time, we hired, we, we hired our first manager mm-hmm. and he ripped us off. Mm-hmm. So, he, he basically he stole, stole all of our, our money. Inheritance. Yeah. We, our mum died. She left us loads of money and he so stole sorry. all of our inheritance. Yeah. So, uh, we, you know, we, we were lost. We didn't know what else to do. So, we were like, okay, let's just release music. So, we went and found a manager we knew nothing about. And he basically ripped us off all of our money. So we ended up broke and we were so upset. And we just thought, okay, the only way we can release this is by recording music. So we released Paradise on Saturn because we felt like Saturn would be the only place that we would feel happy because we were so miserable. We were broke and miserable. Oh, yeah. So the album was... It's very angry. It's very angry. angry (laughs) It is. So yes, uh, guys, Shikeno na nambia kwamba walimpoteza mama yao ilikuwa ni mwaka fumbili na nane na kwa ilikuwa ni kipindi kigumu sana kipindi kibaya na kipindi hicho walikuwa wamekata ringi ya wana tamia walenda marekani walivuenda marekani kule walitua mixtape yao ya kwanza ilikuwa inaitua Shikane uh, Touch This lakini uh, washikaji walitaka kwa badilishe jina wafanya kina Destin Charles tuvi dude dude gani na nini wakaona imi pango gani acha turudi home lakini pia wakaona sio kesi wakaenda mpaka Uingereza Uingereza pia wakatoa mixtape yao ya pili lakini sasa hapo katika katikati kukawa kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanafanya nao kazi wakaona kama mitkas kama ito okay hivyo wakasema nini acha turudi home ambapo kwao ni Nigeria ambapo ndo Afrika na baada hapo vitu vikaja vikatokea na wameanzisha lebo yao ambayo wao ndo mabosi wa lebo yao wenyewe kwa sababu wakati wanataka kuwa sainiwe na nini katikati hapo kuna farm tena watu wa kike hawa washikaji wakaona mambo mambo tena mengi na vitu vitu vingi sana kwa wakaona wao kama vipi acha wapushe au game lao kivya au vyao wenyewe na ndio maana wamepush mpaka leo wako hapa lakini wao walikuwa wanataka hiyo originality wao wa Afrika usipotee kwa sababu kule walikuwa wanaona kama wanaenda kwenye wrong direction na wanachokizungumza Shikain kama unafuatilia vizuri watu ambao wanatoka Nigeria kuna jamaa anaitwa LD the Don LD naye pia anasema alienda mpaka Atlanta lakini vitu havikutokea ikabidi arudi tena Nigeria kwa unaona watu wengi wanajaribu kutoka nje home lakini mwisho wa siku lazima urudi home nyumbani ni nyumbani so yes hapo nimejaribu tena ku breakdown kidogo uh, Shikain yes. yes 2016 yes was such a very good year for you guys yeah. a lot of nominations like 12 mm-hmm. nominations You guys won three awards. Mm-hmm. What did it um, mean to you guys? Like a lot of um, like Nigerian Music Awards, the Nair Awards. These are the biggest awards. I know mm-hmm. them. The Nigerian Music Video Awards, like you name it. Mm-hmm. 12 nominations, three awards. Was such a very good year, 2016. Yeah. What did it mean to you guys? It meant a lot to us. I, th- I think it kind of just felt like validation. Finally, we were getting recognized for because a lot of the times we feel that politics plays a, a, a part in music in the music industry. Oh, so yeah? even when you deserve it, if a label comes along with a load of money, they're going to buy that award and you're not going to win. So I'm really? sorry, I'm I'm saying the truth. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Care. Do people buy their awards? Of course oh, they do. Yeah. We all know they do. <laughs> hell I heard, yeah. I, I heard people buying the YouTube views. Oh, oh, that, oh, oh that, that too. So the, oh yes. So now you guys too. are telling me like these people are buying their awards. Look, I'm not saying everybody's buying awards, mm. but sometimes artists it do buy awards, yeah. you know. And the thing is, it's it's part of the business. Even in America, they do it. Mm. So it's okay, not they it UK. They do it everywhere. If a label has a lot of money, mm. they can 
fix, they can make sure that their artist wins. And sometimes if the artist is really big, it's within the, the awards show's interest to make the artist win anyway. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's a win-win situation. But oh, obviously yeah. for people like us, you know, it's like, it, it's not a good feeling when we know we should have won. So in 2016, when we actually got all those nominations and we started winning, it did make us feel really, really good. Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah. I like that. That was a very good thing to ever happen. Yeah. Like you guys been a lot. You guys have been through a lot. Like yeah. you lost your mom. You went to the States. Things didn't happen. You went to uh, UK. A little bit things happened. But then back into Africa. Then that what happened. I like that. So um, let's talk about uh, you guys were in the UK before. Yeah. Yeah. And then Whiskey was performing last night. I saw the bunch took it to his Instagram account. Then he said... Um, Africa is the future and then he said the future is now mm-hmm. like Wizkid filled up the um, O2 arena yeah. And, yeah, over 20,000 people like yeah. what, that was epic that yeah. was wonderful that so was the first, incredible first African to do it as well yeah. the first African artist to ever do that the yeah. first African the first ba- African based artist to do it yeah so oh. that, I think that we've had a couple of Africans like we are like so born in, born in Britain that have done it but he's the first African artist from africa to do it to ever do it i like so that it's a bit it's such a huge deal like yeah. we we had goose pimples like we were just watching it live and we were like wow like this guy it is, is amazing happened. and oh, he's yeah. a really nice guy as well so oh yeah so then um i asked you guys because like you guys have been there before mm-hmm. yeah so like a little bit you can share the experience of being in the uk yeah being in the uk but then again an african artist mm. you know filling up that o2 arena mm. yeah, yeah, yeah you know the thing is it's a big deal for Africa, but it's let's not even minimize it. Like there have been very few black artists. Like when Beyonce comes to London and she performs, mm-hmm. she performs in that arena. Mm-hmm. And we've been to some shows with like huge artists, and they haven't even filled up the arena the way with the Kid heaven. Filled, no, no they oh yeah, no. I like that. No, so you know, Wiz Kid made history yesterday. Epic. You know, and everybody that was a part of that made history as mm. well and i think what the band said was really true you know this is a big deal for africa not just nigeria or whiz kid yeah, yeah. you know so and it's inspirational because other artists can look at that and say if whiz kid can do it i can do it you know so um it's huge it's, it's a big deal it's i like a that big deal yeah. i like yeah. that yeah. So, yeah. Likuwa na wauliza ashikeni kwa mba jana kuyona Wizkid alikuwa na perform kwenye O2 Arena London na amejaza zaidi ya watu elfu ishirini katika uo uwanja na hawa walisha wai kukaa marekani, walisha wai kukaa UK kwa yo wanaijua kinda kinda kiko kiwambia O2 Arena ni kama ono vujua uwanja wa taifa hapo nilitaka wa share experience na wanasema hapa wasani kama kina Beyonce na wasani wengine wambele walikuwa na dondoka katika uo uwanja lakini hawajafanya kile ambacho Wizkid amekifanya jana so yo ni ya kizazi sana Um, I want to know your perspective about this. Um, we had like, uh, like last year, end of last year, we saw Whiskey and Davido performing together. Mm. Yeah. Like um, they made peace and stuff like mm-hmm, that. Yeah. So before that, they had this misunderstanding. Did that affect the Nigerian music industry in any way? Not really. Uh, it kind of makes people more more excited. It's oh like, yeah. It's like everybody likes negative press. The thing about it is. A lot of the a lot of the the issues that Davido and Wizkid have, it's not real. It's like a lot of it is superficial. They're just going along. It was with more it for business thing uh, I, kind I, of thing. I, I mean, we think so. I mean, a lot of it is not. When they see each other, they're cordial. Mm-hmm. So it's not like oh, when I see you, I'm gonna you know. So I, I think, and also it's I think friendly. the good thing, the it's good thing about rivalry. what they what they do is mm-hmm. that I think it's a good lesson for women as mm-hmm. well, because even if they don't like each other, business is business. And when it's time to make that money, they do it. And I think women need to learn how to do that. Even if you don't like me, if we can make money together, let's make that money. But women, we allow emotions to get in the way. And I think female artists would go a lot further if they put aside their pride and the bitchiness and just work together. Because we are always approaching female artists and you would be surprised at the responses that we get. The men are fine, but the females just come with... Obstacles, a lot of politics. Yeah. Just a lot of politics. politics. That's even. That's even if they answer you at all. And the funny thing is, a lot of the females are not even big artists. But ah, uh, anyway. I beg, please, please don't talk too much. Next, next question. I beg. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Kapiti awa tuapa. So yes, um, shikeno ma piti watu nsema ushiri kiano wana upata kwa sani eni wakike inakuwa ni ngumu sana wasanii wa kike ku, ku jump kwenye ma record kufanya vitu tofauti na wasanii 
wa kiume na alikuwa anazungumzia ile ugomvi wa Davido na Whisky demeuliza hapa ilikuwa jao wanasema haikuwa labda beef kiivo ilikuwa ni kibiashara sana lakini kama watu wakikutana wanaongea na vitu vinatokea hiyo ni ya kizazi sana so yes i'm shiken one of the things that i know that you guys would love to do here in Tanzania to pay a visit um, to the orphanage yes. uh, yeah, center yeah, yeah. paying a visit to the children Definitely. and i know this reflects to your mom's death like you guys yeah. having a foundation yes. and to yes. What is it called Antonia? Antonia. Her Antonia. name is Antonia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Antonia's Ant- Children's Foundation. Yeah, yeah. So it's for women and children. So issues that relate to women and children. So it could be anything. We want to get involved in lots of things that uh, that happen to women in third in Africa. Mm-hmm. So third world country, we don't like to call it that. This is Africa. Oh, yeah, so yeah. We, we issues that affect women in Africa that are very simple to change. but because of money because of politics because the government's not doing what they're supposed to do or whatever they don't have the immunity something as simple as curing fibroids is something that affects mid- mainly african women mm-hmm. we want to help start, like get get a fibroid operation there's a woman in a village that is dying because of simple operation because yeah, of money yeah, yeah. so we want to help stuff like that and then obviously with children orphanages mother motherless um, children you know disabled children yeah, people yeah. that are overlooked in society that's kind of what we want to do because we know god is going to bless us I more like if we do that i like that um let's talk about uh, your new record answer me as far mm-hmm. as i know the record is about a guy who is not paying attention <laughs> to a woman like he's not picking up his calls from her and stuff like that and since this song uh this song you guys wrote the song yeah yeah um is there one among you guys <laughs> had such experience like she was calling this person and the response was just like that he wasn't answering um his phone you got the idea for the answer me record I think we all have. I think we oh, all yeah? have. But the funny thing is now is um let me make sure the camera's facing me. Everybody's answering their phone now. So yeah. yeah. I mean <laughs> <laughs> I mean bits of the song bits of the song have an element of truth to it. I mean we actually wrote the song with Dr. Amir who yeah, yeah. is um Harry Song's producer mm-hmm. yeah. and he helped us with the hook. Mm-hmm. But the rest of the song we wrote that part because that was personal to us so the second verse where I'm talking about you know the guy was if everything was fine and he said he wanted to marry me and now he's doing shakara you know when it's time to get married so that kind of stuff that kind of stuff was real oh yeah so there were bits of yeah, there's element of truth to the song but oh, i yeah. think everyone can relate to that right everyone can relate to being in love and then one person starts misbehaving and then they stop answering your calls and you know yeah, everyone like, can relate to that right i like that so um we are going to listen to the record answer me and uh If there's anything that you guys would like um to share to the fans of Archie in Tanzania just a little bit. You have any um anything you want to share? Uh we just want to say thank you. Thank you thank you for supporting um Shikane. Thank you for making us um Oga Police huge. Thank you for supporting us me as well. You're welcome. And and we're, we're just grateful for for being and welcomed. You know the warm welcome yeah, yeah. that Tanzania have given us. So yeah. you know we're really grateful for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Wish you guys lucky. Wish you all the best, yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so Asante much. Asante, yeah. Asante, Asante. Asante. I know this is not the first time in here and and probably not your last time, yeah. No. no this yeah. is home. You're not going to get rid of us now. You're going to be tired of us. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, nimepiga story na Shikena all the way kutokea Nigeria. Tumepiga na story vitu vingi sana. Unaenda kusikiliza ngoma yao mpya inaitwa Answer Me. Na endo ambayo na sign out nayo achia kwenye show la Kibaba the playlist. Alan Donald the producer na kuja na story kibao kwenye industry bears. Na DJ this slash do not gone where ni the MVP half men of amazing lil omi ukienda youtube pia unaweza kaenda ukaangalia video zao kuna video yao ya oga police kuna lock kuna answer me ambayo ndo mpya sasa hivi na nilit ya moto sana wacheki pia kwenye instagram official shikane wanapatikana kwenye instagram official shikane updates kibao utakuwa unazipata hapo wasanii gani wa bongo wanafanya nayo ngoma chinbizo ameshafanya nayo ngoma wana plan kufanya na vanessa utaona mapicha picha tu kwenye instagram so wacheki official shikane yo guys i'm out the playlist